Hey guys, Disco here, and I'm quite a bit late to this because this happened um, on this happened during the eight year anniversary broadcast, I believe, and that was like five days ago. I know I was incredibly late to this. I have been incredibly, insanely busy, so I I don't know. If, let me know if you want to see me actually react to the broadcast or not. Um, so far I have zero points to react into the actual broadcast, especially because they like re put they like reposted a lot of what was talked about in the broadcast and like their own sections on like Steam and on YouTube. So I'm just gonna react to those. Uh, unless if you guys want to actually see me react to the A's year anniversary broadcast just like I did with the seventh anniversary one. But Anyways, I have some downtime. I'm, I have videos. I've made quite a few videos that I've been needing to make, and I have quite a few on the way um, that I'm needing to make that I'm going to make, be filming and getting ready at sometime after this. But, anyways, today I am reacting to the casting of Frank Stone gameplay trailer. So, for those of you that don't know, the first trailer. For the casting of Frankston was like it's a reveal show it's telling us the name of it um and showed us like some of the char some characters some of the characters running around and then after that it was those really weird like things about like news things of people like dying and there was like a fire and one and all this stuff it was weird. But now we have a gameplay trailer. So it says, When you make dangerous cinema, you walk a dangerous line. That kind of reminds me of the, of, uh, the Green Witch cinema from... Uh, that's End Up by Daylight. With the, the map that came with Sable and the Unknown. But obviously it's not related to that. Uh, the storytelling... Yes, I don't think it is. The storytelling prowess of supermassive game... Meets the Dead by Daylight universe in a haunting horror game that won't be soon be forgotten. In the summer of 1980, summer of 69, <laughs> four friends, which I believe they showed the four friends in the reveal shower, if I'm remembering correctly, set out to make their mark on horror cinema. What they capture will trigger the unthinkable, decide their fate, develop their relationships, and guide their shoot. Of Murder Mill, a soon-to-be cult classic, was an insidious influence. I wonder if I can't remember the name of the game. I have seen a little bit of gameplay, I forget from what YouTuber, of a game where you... I guess what I think of. Like, you ran up, basically, you ran around the map and you did stuff. And, like, the quarry it might be what I'm thinking of. I don't really remember. But, like, you're running around the map, and you have friends with you, and then you're, like, doing stuff, and then you, like, talk to them. And, like, based off of, like, what you say, like, affects your progress into the game. I don't really remember what it was. Uh, in the casting of Frank Stone, a dark, branching narrative lies before you. Your decisions pen the script, the only thing standing between life and death for a group of young filmmakers. Change reality with your choices. Unlock new paths with your actions and discover what horse your final cut may hold. In a story where every move matters, actions can speak louder than words. Explore a cinematic nightmare, testing your wits as you sol solve environmental puzzles and react to quick time events. Guide your cast of characters through. Eerie locations and search for clues to hide the bigger picture. Coming 2024. So this is... Oh, that's... So this game should be coming out, I would imagine, later 2024. Cedar Hills is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. What is that? That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? It used to be like town mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. You spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? You can't shoot a movie in here. 
this is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Everything's all right. <laughs> Either of you heard of murder mail? Really no. No. There was a whole string of disappearances. I don't think the police ever found this place. Fuck! Whoever did this might still be here. We can't stay, okay? We gotta go. And cut. Okay. When you make dangerous cinema, you walk a dangerous line. I... It's hard for me to... I'm trying to think of how I want to word this. It's hard for me to know kind of what to say to that. It looks really cool. I'm very excited to play this game. It looks awesome, and I'm cu very curious to see... If any of the stuff from this will make its way in the actual Dead by Daylight. Like, um, w w in, when I reacted to the reveal trailer, I believe I made the statement of I could see, like, the skin for... I Because th um, in the reveal trailer, they made it seem like Frank Stone is the guy that's, like, is basically, like, the killer of this game. I don't know if that's true, but that was kind of how the reveal trailer made it seem and what I remember about the reveal trailer. But I remember it basically being like, I could see a skin where the, you know, killer of this game for like Trapper and stuff. And I know Orange is wanting there to be skins in the actual Dead by Dead Beast off of this. But I'm curious if there, if at some point they would just make a chapter based out of this. Because the world of Dead by Daylight has lore. It does. I mean, Virgo, Vittorio, and like, there's so many key important people to this lore. I mean, one singular person has escaped the Entity's realm. And there's a lot of ways of people trying to do that. Um... Blight, before he got all whatever, was trying to figure it out. There's other characters that were trying to find ways out and trying very hard to. And there's a lot of, like, if I remember correctly, I think Jake has some uh, friends that are in the realm. I remember seeing there's, like, you know, and there was, like, a tome of, like, one of his friends talking about something with it. Stuff like that. So it'll be really cool to see kind of what they do with this world. And I'm very interested to eventually learn all the lore there is to this game. Because, like, see how everything connects and stuff. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Ring the bell, do all the algorithmic garbage. It helps us out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh.